Okay, so um, first of all, can you tell us about how you got invited to play the part of Zaro Zohan Daxus? Well, I was... I basically had auditioned for the pilot for the first season of Game of Thrones before anybody knew what, that it was going to be so successful and so good. And then it, it kind of took a, it was a lengthy process and I ended up getting another job and I went off and did that. Then when, but they liked my audition a lot for the first season. And they told me to come back for the second season, audition for another part, Zara Zahn Doxos. And they really, really liked what I brought to the part and they really liked the idea of me being slightly different from people's idea, you know, of Zara in the books. And um, they kind of just went with it. And they, you know, I was really over the moon because I had watched, by then I'd watched the first season and seen how much of a, of a, uh, success it had become, you know, so it was just awesome. Um, if I was to try and guess what part you auditioned for for the first season, would Carl Drogo be near the mark? Ah, uh, it might be, might be. Yeah. I can't say, I can't say, but it was, it was definitely, it worked out that I play, ended up playing the right part for me. Um, have you read the books at all? Or? Yeah, I, well, as soon as I found out I got the part, I just hurriedly read Game of Thrones and then I read Clash of Kings as I was, as I was filming it. Although, in a way, it was less helpful to read Clash of Kings because it, it's so different from the books. I mean, my part especially is so much bigger in the show than it is. Yeah, than it is in than it is in um, the actual book, you know. So. Yeah, he's a real piece of work, and I loved every minute of it. Um, so obviously, the last time we saw your character, he was locked in a vault. Yeah. Uh, do you think he's ever going to escape? Well, Carl Cesaro is a very, very intelligent man. And it would be interesting to see whether he really didn't have any way out of that vault. I'm not sure. But all I can say is, maybe. Are you aware he appears in the fifth book? I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. So who knows? Well, I don't know. This is going to be so different from the books now. Not so different, but they're departing a lot more from the book, especially for season three and season four. So it will be interesting to see how much they include and how much they do. So uh, it, it, the possibility is always there. Um, what was it like working with Amelia Clark? Oh, she's, fun. she's a joy to work with. She's an absolute stunning actress, amazing. You know, a lot of people get caught up in the fact that she's very beautiful, but she's actually a very talented actress and a joy to work with and a lovely person which is rare and you know when you meet someone that is actually talented and good and fun to be with we hung out quite a lot we actually have hung out a bit since since the show and she's, she's just lovely oh absolutely absolutely yeah definitely I mean she's no mistake she's very beautiful but at the same time she's just very very talented um, how do you describe the difference between Danny and Zara's sort of relationship to Carl Drogo and Danny's relationship in the last season? Was it quite sort of like paralleled or...? Well, I think it was interesting that, you know, Carl Drogo kind of took Danny and um, eventually Danny came around to loving Carl Drogo. I, I don't think that was ever really going to happen with, with Zara. I think he was always about persuading her trying to make her believe it was totally yeah it was very he grabbed what he wanted Zara was more of a yeah yeah so I don't know if that was ever gonna happen she thought about it for a minute but I don't know if it was ever really gonna happen but it was it was definitely awesome to play and it just those scenes are just wonderful no, so I hear you're an Ender's Game yes so could you tell us anything about it or well I've just finished filming Ender's Game um, in New Orleans America it is an amazing, amazing script, amazing cast. Sorry. Ender's Game has got an amazing script, amazing cast. Really, really amazing director, Gavin Hood. Um, it stars Asa Butterworth, who plays Ender, the young, young child genius who's going to save the Earth from aliens. Um, Harrison Ford plays uh, one of the lead characters, Ben Kingsley and Viola Davis, so he's got an all-star cast. And um, basically it's about this young boy who's charged with the possibility of becoming the savior of Earth. So he has to go to cadet school and train to be an awesome kind of space pilot. And I'm charged with playing the part of Sergeant Dapp, 
who drill sergeant who has to basically whip him into shape. So it's an awesome part to play. At first he's a real hard ass, but at first later on you get to see that that is really hard, being hard on Ender for a reason. He sees the talent in him and he wants to nurture it. So it's a gorgeous part to play. Thanks, man.